Hi, I'm Ken Bianco Jr. Um, this, we're going to try something new. And basically what I want to do is I want everyone out there to see the real life of what it is to own and manage a hobby shop. Um, you know, a lot of people <laughs> make fun of people who are in model trains or even for me, they make fun of me because they're, they're, they're like, you sell toy trains? And it's not, it's a real business and it's a, a real hobby. And um, a lot of people have this preconceived notion that, you know, it's something that you just stand and, you know, just sell trains and, you know, people come in, whatever, but it's an actual business. It's, we're very busy. It's not something where it's a joke. It's, it's serious. And some people may think that's funny, but, um, you know, hopefully by seeing these uh, short series of videos, you'll understand why it's, you know, a real business. So usually uh, my day starts off um, around 7 or 7.30 in the morning. I already start checking for orders. Um, I see what people are ordering, how many they're ordering of, uh, which manufacturers. We have maybe over... 20,000 products or different SKUs, so it's definitely a, a lot of product, a lot of numbers. Um, you have to kind of be in tune with what the market's dictating, what customers want, um, what's not selling. So that's definitely very important. Um, after that, usually I like to take a look at all the forums. Um, for N-Scale, I look at train, trainboard.net. Um, or trainboard.com, HO, the Atlas Rescue Forums, O Gauge, the O Gauge Forum is uh, really big, popular. Um, and then G Scale, there's a bunch of G Scale News, um, Large Scale Central, uh, uh, different, a uh, bunch of different sites. Um, so usually I get a lot of information through the forums, what people are talking about, uh, what they don't like, which manufacturers, what they do like. Um, what's what's popular and basically by knowing what's popular I know what to buy uh, differently either buy more uh, certain things I won't buy if people aren't uh, too, too impressed or not popular so it kind of gives me a good feedback for what the market is and you know sometimes if I read something about us you know I, I either tweak it address it or you know, I, it's a good positive thing, so, um, you know, I'll try to uh, do a right thing for the customer that, um, you know, gave a positive feedback, but um, it's definitely a lot, and that's, uh, you know, just a kick off the morning where I have coffee and, you know, do my research, you know, then maybe like 8, eight o'clock, 9, 8.30. I head to the store and I uh, kick my day off there and um, hopefully throughout the series you'll get to see uh, how, how busy it is and you know I'm just not standing outside waiting for customers to come in. Um, train World, Train Land, we do a lot of marketing, a lot of business aspects. It's not just um, you know waiting for customers to come in and you know, you know say yes to whatever train they want. It's um, a lot of marketing, a lot of business involved, and um, it's uh, by these series, it's really going to help people understand that it's not a joke. It's um, you know, it's a real job. <laughs> it's uh, even though people are very perplexed by what I do, or they they even laugh. They they laugh, and uh, but it's not something to laugh about. It's a serious hobby. It's, um, you know, people spend a lot of money in this hobby and, um, you know, you got to make sure you, you're in this hobby for the right reasons, you know. I eat, sleep, drink, and train, so um, it's pretty much my life. I, I love it. I love what I do. I have a passion for it. And if you don't, you're going to be eaten up in this industry. Um, this year alone, a lot of train stores already closed. Um, a lot of small uh, mom and pop shops closed down. Some bigger stores are having problems. So 
for me, I just want to keep on having that competitive drive and, you know, keep on trying to improve on our business. Um, over the past, you know, seven years, we've been up double digits for the year over year. And, um, you know, a lot of people say the train industry is bad and, you know, the train industry is a dying breed. But, you know, I think it's in an aspect, it's it's growing different, but growing strong. Um, you know, a lot of big stores are having uh, similar problems for the retail market, but, you know, a lot of people are getting more comfortable selling online, and that's where we've definitely um, focused our efforts to. But um, you gotta have a big balance of both. You know, a good retail shop mixed in with a nice online presence is makes it a very healthy business. And it's definitely not easy, you know. I work very hard for um, the improvements and changes that we've made and, you know, we're continually making changes. Um, so you'll get a little inside view on what we do in the either the social media world or um, just uh, making changes online and uh, you know we we employ a lot of people and it's uh, definitely costs a lot but you know we want it to be perfect we want you guys to have that um, ease of use when you either look at a picture online or order online or even come into the store we want that store to be you know uh, nice clean and we've uh, recently kind of revamped the Brooklyn retail store and um, a lot of it's it takes a while slow changes we know what the problems are but we've definitely been able to um, make some huge improvements huge changes over the past couple of years um, we've done a lot of things to help improve streamline um, get better at customer service um, get better with um, the way we ship, you know, there's a lot of aspects of the train industry. It's not just one person just selling a train set. It's, you know, shipping, it's insurance, it's um, all the different business aspects. It's uh, just, you, you gotta have a hat with many feathers. It's, um, you know, you're just not one person. There's a lot of aspects, um, and that's a, one of the good things about you know a family business right now we're in a good position you know my father he kind of is uh, very old school but he he still believes in the magazines advertising and I still think you know advertising in magazines is important you know we've been in model railroader a uh, long time the O Gage magazines um, so he kind of focuses in on that and more of the retail aspect in the Long Island store. Um, I kind of bring in more buying and selling opportunities uh, along with my father, but I also fo focus on the social media and the online department. So I'm um, bringing in the new age of marketing. So we, we have a nice balance of both. You know, my father does more of the magazines. I bring in the new age of uh, marketing with the social media, videos, um, Facebook, uh, Instagram, all that kind of stuff. And I actually see a lot of young people on these social media sites, which a lot of, um, you know, people say, oh, well, trains is just for older people. Trains is an old hobby. But if you look at, you know, my Instagram account, we have a lot of followers and it's um, a lot of people who I talk to are impressed how many people follow us on either Instagram or Twitter and you know it's a lot of younger people and I think there is a market for uh, the younger generations with trains and unfortunately I, I feel like we're the you know one of the few companies dealers and manufacturers who actually have tapped into that market or try to expose the train industry to new markets. So there's that aspect and um, you know I have my Uncle Tony in the Brooklyn store who's you know he is a machine at shipping. So 
that's a huge component and aspect for mail order. And he eats, sleeps, drinks, trains. He comes in at like seven o'clock in the morning and doesn't stay uh, or stays till all the orders get out. Um, you know, he definitely wants every single order to be out that day. And a lot of people know us for our lightning fast shipping. You know, when you're shipping out hundreds of orders a day, it's very difficult. There's a lot of things going on, um, a lot of calls, you know, just, you know, where's my order call, whatever. So you gotta, you know, track down that item, know where it's going, you know, be efficient. Um, you know, are, are we getting the right items in the right boxes? You know, um, we, we have a, uh, a safety system where we have people picking uh, the, uh, the shipments. Then we have another person checking to make sure they picked it right. Um, there's a lot of components. Um, even the the packers. We have uh, some packers who've been with us for you know a long, long time. They're excellent. You know, I love them to death. They're like family. Um, a lot of our employees are like family. They've been with us a long time. They care about. Uh, the product going out if they see you know a little dust or you know a dent in the box they'll they'll make sure they address it um, so it's it's a lot of care that's involved a lot of people have um, the the passion they know what to do because they've been with us throughout many years um, my cousin Anthony uh, came on maybe like two two years ago and he's been a big help um, you know, improving customer service relations. He's, um, you know, kind of taking on that aspect where he's trying to uh, better manage your orders, better manage the office, better manage um, the calls, the any issues that have uh, arisen. So he's kind of been taking on that role, the managerial role, and. Um, you know, it's it's a big undertaking and then also my Aunt Diane is an important part. She handles all the bills, the, um, you know, manages the office out front. So um, there, we have a big team of family members and even non-family members that care and, you know, each person has their own job and it's not just you know, going into a store, turning on the lights and waiting for people to come in. Um, you know, every one of us has this, their own unique defined role and is very important. And um, it's, uh, if we lose one person, we're going to feel it. But, you know, right now we have an awesome uh, team that has been really, you know, we've been knocking down walls you know, year over year, really accomplishing a lot. And, um, you know, I'm proud of that. I know my family's proud of that. And hopefully you guys uh, out there and guys and girls seen a difference uh, over the past couple of years where we've been really trying to improve. And, um, you know, my father and I, you know, we wake up, we talk about new ideas, uh, what, what to change, what we could work on, um, different ways to get people involved into the hobby and um, you know it's this is our life you know we don't really um, model trains where we go home and model trains but we eat sleep drink trains and you know we love the business aspect and we want to keep on seeing the industry grow and um, you know I've, I've I look up to my father because a lot of times he'll try things out of the box things that are different and you know it's sometimes it's not just to better us but it's to better the hobby to promote the hobby and you know that's why you know a lot of times um, people say why are you um, spending so m much money in advertising in certain segments and uh, different ways and you know my father's a big believer in promoting the hobby in general you know, we want trains to be around for a long time for, you know, my next generation of kids. And, you know, it's a really great hobby. You have, I get customers and the grandparents coming into the store, parents, and they they love the hobby because it brings it together with their kids or their loved ones. And um, you get some really emotional stories out there, how they, you know, kids spent their whole childhood with their parents. and. 
you know, it's a real feel-good hobby. Um, you know, so I, I do like that aspect, and I think it's important, hopefully, we could have trains around for another, you know, uh, X amount of years, and it will keep on being strong and, you know, thriving. So, you know, hopefully throughout these steer series, you'll, you'll see a, um, a different side of the train industry. Um, or as a train dealer, train distributor, you know, you'll see, see us, you know, it's not just a, uh, a boring day. There's a lot of components, a lot of different um, uh, things going on and we never stop. We're always busy. We barely have time to have lunch. So um, I think you'll definitely be very excited in this new video series that we're going to be running. So um, this is episode one and I hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned. We'll uh, be uh, coming up with a good series for you. Thank you. Again, I'm Ken Bianco from uh, Train World and have a great day.